Hey, what's up? Today I want to share something new in the Unity 2021 release that I didn't know was there and could have been saving me a whole lot of time. I actually discovered that while I was making the video for the new Unity patch notes for programmers. If you haven't seen that already and you're into Unity development, make sure that you check that out. Also, if you're into this kind of stuff, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, drop a comment below and share and all that stuff. So what's the new feature? It's the parallel asset importing. And this is extremely easy to use and will save you a lot of time. In fact, I tried it out on my laptop last night and it saved me almost an hour on the import time. That was an extreme case because I'm pulling in this giant Proto Factor sci-fi pack, but I'm sure you've probably run into plenty of cases where you were importing for half an hour, an hour or more. Now with the parallel asset importing that's available in 2021, you can really speed this up. On my desktop system, I noticed about a 50% performance increase. So things took about half the time. It went from six minutes down to about three. On my laptop, however, I saw a huge performance difference. Trying to import this on there was about an hour, and then it cut down to about 10 to 15 minutes. I need to rerun that test and get the exact number and actually write it down this time but it was about four to five times faster from what I saw. So I was very impressed. My laptop's a much lower powered system than this thing. And I assume that maybe this system was just already so fast that it didn't get as much of a speed boost. Overall though, a 50% speed boost or a 50% cut in time, which are like 100% speed boost, seems more than worth it to me. And all you have to do is check a box to enable it. Just go into your project settings, make sure that you've enabled parallel asset importing before you start importing your stuff, and then you'll get the nice big speed improvement. I wanna keep this short though, so if this was helpful, please drop a comment, let me know, hit thumbs up or share the video, or check out my courses at game.courses or my online conference at gamedevguild.com.